If you tie the straggling vector, hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 10. Thread I'm going to be using is a Fire Orange thread, uh, the UTC version. It's a really bright. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a flat thread. It's one I don't normally use when this type of ply I use, like a uni, but I want the bright, this really bright colour here. It's more ready than anything. Uh, and it's really only for the for the head area this has been used for, other than because they'll cover the rest of it up. But anyway, we take the thread down, take the thread right down until we're in line with the bar by the hook, and then we remove the waist piece. The tail's just as normal, except this is a golden pheasant crest feather, but it's been dyed a fluorescent yellow. So tail length, you're looking for the length of the body, just to Keep it within the rules. A couple of turns to hold. Just check how it sits, and that's, that's fine. And then cut it the full length of the body, which is to this point here, about a mil and a half or so from the eye. And then we're going to tie in, this is the micro straggle, so UV and silver. See the, the kind of like a translucent, but it's blue, a UV colour, and then silver flash. And I'm just going to catch that in the full length of the body. Nice and tight, all the way up. Just try and get it to sit the way you want. Don't let it twist around the hook. Uh, just basically, it'll sit better if you do this. A wee bit of wax on the thread, just to give it more grip. And there we are. Now, I use this straggle, obviously, as a body, but as well as a rib. Now, this is a... Natural red Chinese hackle, cock hackle, and it's simply catch this on the side, make sure it's tied down, I usually break off the stem, and then I do like a, a turn and a half or so at the top, and then I work my way down. The length of the fibre, don't be too shy with it because you are going to catch in a few fibres with the straggle, so now once you get basically to the bottom, just so come across with your straggle, catching in the hackle, and then winding up through, just ignoring the fibres, just wind it like you're forming a body, and ignore the hackles. You will obviously trap in some, but don't worry about it, because you'll get enough. Now just before you bring up the, the straggle fritz to catch, just lift the, or draw back the fibres, bring the, the thread to this side to my side. Now I'm going to make sure I wax the thread, you need the grip. More so with the, the UTC because it is a slippy flat thread. I prefer using the UTC and buzzers and so, but there is times I've got to use it to get the, the head colour and this is the head colour that I want. Just draw back any fibres that's going forward with the eye. Just tidy up again, we up more wax. And then come down. Now what I'm going to do here, get some velcro. Obviously first I'll take away the base piece of the, the hackle. You see I mean you, you, you get enough fibres coming through. This is more like a, a pulling type fly than traditional like a ball fly or so. Um, certainly works for, takes the brownies as well as the rainbow as you see. Just like to make sure that they're blended together, and then we get ourselves some. This is some blue jay, just as we would have in a normal fly. Just take away the fluff at the bottom, and then what I like to do is bring the fibres 90 degrees from the stem, and then tear them off so that these are in line, they're straight. You see, so the tips will be straight as well. Now you can either turn it upside down and tie it in, just like so. I usually pinch and loop, but to show you that you can simply do that. Then come in with your scissors. You need a good sharp pair of scissors, a nice point on it. Trim away the excess. Now I'm going to tidy up, wax the thread, and go down and come back up. And you get a nice throat there. And then for the wing, just get some hen pheasant. This is hen pheasant primary feathers. Just going to 
take a, a left and a right. Just take one from either side. Now you're looking for a, a width of a wing, not too wide. There are different ways of actually tying it in, getting it to sit right, or to get it to sit the way you would like anyway. And uh, you could, I like to obviously put them on both together. Now you, all I do is line up the ends. So the, you're seeing the underside. I come in. The length probably tips towards the end of the tail, but not exactly. But then folding that, folding the wing round, round the body, around so it sits on the top of the shank. And then it's a pinch and loop. Nice and tight, pull it down two or three times. And there we are. And that's your wing. Uh, sitting nice and low. And it's a matter of then turn away the excess. Now, I like to bring the thread to the eye and build the thread turns up from the eye and into the cut ends. You'll find you get an ether head if you do that. Just take your time. You even see like there I've cut in some of the cut ends, but what I'm doing is I'm folding them back. It makes it, well, makes it tidier. Oh, sorry. Basically makes your fly last longer. And there we are. And then, I mean, you can put jungle cock on it or you can leave it as it is. Now I'm just going to put two small eyes on, just to finish it off. Two small jungle cock eyes. You see, the, the Invicta style of fly, it was tied to represent Cadis, arching Cadis. Whereas this pattern is more like representing like fry because of the the colour of the head, the eye and so on. Now what I'm gonna do here is make sure the eye's sitting into the wing. Just pulling it in, setting up the wing, that's fine. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tuck it back. Now I've waxed the thread. Don't want to go down too far. Now, this is the the disadvantage of the UTC, it tends to slip. You must you must wax it to give you the grip or spin it tight by clockwise spinning your bobbin. I'm just going to form it. And don't worry about the head. I want a nice bright fire orange head. That's why I'm using the thread. There we go. And keep things tight just now and then just come in and wet finish. And then, to get a nice strong shiny head, I like to use super glue first. Just you've got to be careful. There's not much on this brush all the way around. Now that sets extremely hard, seals the jungle, uh, the, the turns of thread. And once that's dry, then all I have to do is a single coat of varnish just to coat it. But as you can see how shiny it is just now. And that there's your Microstraggle Invicta. Um.